Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today I will be talking about the characteristics and key figures in composite provider. Meaning that when you create a composite provider by doing union of several providers or by joining of several providers then when you go into the output tab then you find there are a lot of characteristics and key figures. So in this tutorial I will be telling you about the various properties and options available for the characteristics and key figures that you can manage so that your designing of composite provider can be nice. So now I will be telling you in two different slides. First, I'll be talking about the characteristics features and then I'll be talking about the key figures features. So let me start with the characteristics. Like uh, when you go into the output tab of the composite provider, then you can find there are a lot of fields in the left hand side and I have picked up just one field from the composite provider and here I will be talking about all the options like uh, association data type, characteristic specific properties and reporting properties. So I will be going one by one about this and these are the changeable, I will be talking about the changeable fields or properties. Like first your characteristics this is not editable because this is a characteristics and then but then you come to the description and you can change the description here by clicking the edit button. Now very important part about the association and what does this association means that suppose you have created a field calde and you are if you do if you just there's a drop down option and if you uh, you can do association with info object with open audience view and what it does that if you want to refer this field this calde field this uh, this time field with a reference field then it will take the properties of this reference field then you know it to define the data type like here in this option but if you do not define any uh, option in this association then if you just click on nothing if you go into the drop down and if you click on nothing then this option for data type enables means that here you need to define that what data type whether say uh, like in the case of calendar day so that should be the date function so in case of your other characteristics so all kinds of data type will be available like integer worker n worker it will be available and you can fix the uh, the number of like for worker you can define 20 or 40 whatever you want and similar to that and if i come down to this option uses of system wide unique name means that now if you click on this option and then and automatically a system wide reference name generators for this calde it means when you do the uh, further uh, uses of the composite water what will be the name of this field calde and it will be like and there's a system a name like it will start with four then uh, your composite water name and then your this calde that is the actually system wide name now but if you want to click this data uh, direct uses of associate object name then your this association what you have actually used that name will be used here now we have already talked about the data type now we are coming into this option characteristics specific properties so here you have option of constrained values so it is meaning that you know you can actually define if there is any constant value for this calendar day so now if you are talking about the authorization relevance and here if you select on this authorization relevance and it is used to define whether or not the field is authorized relevant and if the field does not have an association if the field uh, very remember point is that if the field does not have an association and direct uses of associated object by name is not selected here then you can decide whether the field is included in authorization checks now we are coming into the next option i confirm the referential integrity 
so using this flag you need to uh, you need to actually setting up that your calendar day your cal day is having one value for uh, each characteristics like there should not be any duplicate value into the field otherwise there will be a master data error so your reference integrity is maintained now coming to the last option the reporting properties like you have options like document property display selection and query execution filter and document property means that here you can define the following query properties under this reporting properties and here you can specify whether the document property is inherited from the info object and you can then display any document defined in the executed query and if I come into the display here you can display the way you want to define the uh, data like text or key and text so like that or text key or normal text like that now we are coming into the selection like here you can restrict the selection condition if you have any and now coming to the last option the query execution filter and here you have uh, by this property you can specify how filter values the selector for query execution like what filter you have used in the selection so how will it be used during the query execution like the values in master data table or only posted values for navigation or only values in info provider like that so that's about the characteristics now we are moving into the key figures and that is also very important to design a key figure in composite provider so we have some similar things so we will quickly cover that part first like if you as i told in the earlier like if you define info object here then it will same uh, data type and number from this info object and you can use the system wide name or otherwise you can use this direct uses of associated name like this one and if you do not use uh, this association if you click on nothing by this drop down then you have to define the data type so what is data type of the key figure and so on and now you have option of key figure specific properties like when you define the data type after that so you have to define and this option enables only when you you click on no association means nothing then only it will be enabled otherwise it won't be enabled it will take normal whatever uh, fixed you have decided here in the info object so here you have two option like what kinds of key figure this is whether it's a number whether it's a amount and here you can use what kind of aggregation are you going to use whether it's a override or summation now you have the uh, currency element and fixed currency and here you can actually fix any kind of currency that you want and now the last part of this section is the reporting properties so like the decimal values means how many decimal values you want so in the values like there's a value of 100.02 uh, so you want two decimal places here and the display so it's about the scaling factors what kind of scaling you want uh, by this option you can actually decide so that's all about this tutorial and if you have any question please write in the below comment box i'll be happy to answer and if you have any recommendation if you want some kinds of video from me you can type in the below comment box that just writing that i want this kind of video i'll be happy to give you the solution on that and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do so and thank you for watching please have a look into my other tutorial I've given the links in the below description. Thanks for watching.